this is a this is a great party, right? Everyone's just having a having a great time. They they fucking blocked that shit. Nah, I see it. We gotta go down here. Do little hops. That's right. Hey, look, there's a tree. Fuck the tree. I have important things to do. I like how I'm so interested in the plot right now. I don't really have anything to talk about. Commentary wise. Let me let me think of something. Hmm. Hmm. Oops, hit L2 by accident. You know, I'm gonna talk about something interesting. So I've been playing the Nintendo Switch. Um because Legend of Zelda came out. I beat it. Uh fantastic game by the way. Really, really good. And, uh, what I noticed is with the Pro Controller for that, uh, which is pretty much the best way to play those games, is, um, the, the, the L and R buttons for that, or what the L2 and R2 buttons, they aren't, uh, they aren't the same triggers. I forget what, I think people call them analog triggers, where you press and it, you know, you can, like, really push in the trigger and it goes up and down as opposed to it just being a button. It's pretty interesting. starting to realize the value in that. I know this is a painfully boring thing to talk about, but I'm starting to kind of see the value in such a thing, just because like, there are so many times when I've played games and I'll put the controller down, you know, just putting it down, and a lot of times I'll just accidentally hit L2 or an R2, just because of how sensitive they are, so I can kind of see the benefit. I say that because I've seen a lot of people bitch about the existence of these things. I'm gonna hit that because I think that'll keep me from getting blocked. I'm trying my best to like make this puzzle as simple power as possible. Number two displayed at the throne. Hard to believe he had that hidden in him. Lord Melchior said that number one was full of untapped potential as well. If I have the talent to use it. Uh Teresa, my lady, you seem angry. Me? At what? At me, for running away and joining Velvet. Oh, that? I was careless. An enemy stole a tool of mine. I'm merely frustrated at my own incompetence. A tool? I don't care what happens to me now. Not as long as I can save Oscar. I'm the one who hurt your precious brother. And you're asking for my help now? Yes, you hurt him. You scarred his face, and his honor, and his heart. Still holding a grudge then? Well, at least you won't be able to kill me in my sleep. With no Malachim, I'm an ordinary woman. How could I threaten the Lord of Calamity? I'm painfully aware of my own weakness. Good. Try to keep out of the way then. Lady Teresa, Velvet isn't so different from you. She had a little brother, she... I know all about the Lord of Calamity, but none of that matters to me, as powerless as I am now. This is the only path for me. It's the only way I can save Oscar. Lady Teresa. Oh, 
Oh, good. Oh, good. We can we can cut this thing off at the, the seams. There we go. It's a tough situation, you know. She has every right to be mad. She isn't gonna get anywhere with Velvet, Miss. I must come up with, you know, quips at every at every turn. Fucking kidding me? This game has betrayed me. Alright, I'm gonna say this right here. Tales of Berseria is a 5 out of 10. It's bad. You know why? Because it wasted my fucking time. That's why. In case you're wondering. Hey KZ, you play video games when you're when you're not recording, right? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I do. Do you have moments in which you bitch about absolutely minute shit no one gives a shit about on your own? And the answer to that is yes. <laughs> Once you start recording video games regularly for eight years. <laughs> yeah, we're coming up on eight years. On this channel specifically, we want to talk about, in general, I've done a little over nine years of this. Um, by the way, holy fucking shit to that. You learn. You learn that, you know... You're so used to it, sometimes you just gotta fucking, you gotta yell out some stuff to yourself. I mean, it's good, it allows you to practice, I guess, but... Some may argue that it makes me crazy. And those people are stupid, it's like, it's not crazy, you can talk to yourself. You can say shit out loud. Uh, let's see. Where the fuck is the button to change water and fire? There it is. We hit the jack. That's not the fire. That's the earth and the wind. I do remember there being a water fire one far back here. Uh, I have to hope that it doesn't impede our progress hitting it. Excuse me, Mr. Plant, I need to beat the game. <laughs> I mean, we're still far off from beating the game, but, you know. I need to progress. Okay, so this... Yeah, we just gotta go this way. Don't do the left path. They, they, they ain't gonna allow you to do that one. I thought this one over here was blocked by water. Now this one's blocked by earth? Or was I not able to get this far before? Son of a bitch. This is just a series of padding. Just like, yo, we're gonna fuck ya. We're gonna fuck ya and make you go back and forth over and over again. Guessing whether or not this one needs to be open. Yeah, I'm bitching. I'm bitching right now. You know why I'm bitching? Because I should probably edit this out, but I'm not going to. I specifically wanted to promise myself that I would make content today that was uncomplicated in the editing process. Because that's been happening a lot. Wait, how the fuck do we get back? My pathfinding's terrible. Oh, this enemy's here. <laughs> yeah, juked him. Juked him. 
I wanted to go off without having to cut chunks of, uh, chunks of the episode up, just because I've had to do that a lot in recent stuff. That, and in case you're wondering, I am drowning in, in when it comes to content. Um, this means nothing to anyone who doesn't watch this dirt, you know, within a few days of it coming out. Um, when it comes to videos, I have taken on too much, uh, unfortunately. Uh, I have three ongoing Let's Plays. Uh, one of them has to come out every single day. Uh, two other ones come out every other day. And I... Uh, it's rough. So, having to do a bunch of cuts and then writing it in my notes for editing and stuff, like, I like to go ahead and get away with just doing the thing that you normally do for editing videos when you don't have to do cuts, which, in case you're wondering, is, uh, tinkering with the audio and scrubbing through the footage to make, no make sure it, nothing is corrupted. It's a rare thing that happens, but, you know, Malachim are just tools. I'd prefer to avoid what it. What are you brooding over? I know. Velvet, Eleanor, or Teresa. You're not sure whose little brother you want to be, eh? In that case, I assure you I'm the kindest of the lot. The cruelest, most devious. That's not what's on my mind. There's something I need to say to Lady Teresa. Something you wish to say? Then speak, number two. That's just it. I'm not number two. I'm... I'm Lafayette. Lafayette? It's the name Velvet gave me. It's very important to me. Something can be important to you? Yes. I have feelings. You see, Malakim are not tools. Very well. I shall call you Lafayette from now on. Thank you, Lady Teresa. You're kinder than you look, my dear Teresa. Thank you, Teresa. You misunderstand. With so much at stake, I don't want to rock the boat. Like, I don't want to make nobody upset. I got shit to do. Velvet, tell me what you know about Teresa and Oscar. I want a clear picture of what they can do. All right. Teresa and Oscar are... I can give you the lowdown on everything, Abby. Lady Teresa and Oscar are the best of the best, even among the Praetors. Some call them the consoles. There are only around a hundred Praetors in the world, so we're talking very elite. Anyone called a console is going to be adept at both fighting and leadership. They are key figures entrusted with responsibility for major cities and institutions. The fighting part is all we have to worry about. Are they better than you, Eleanor? Yes. I was a Primus, which is a full rank below them. I could never overcome Teresa's arts or Oscar's swordsmanship in our practice battles. When they were still trainees, they worked together to wipe out dozens of demons in a single night! After that, Lord Melchior kept a close eye on them. Appreciated. I'll be on my guard. Together, they sound like a real threat. Thankfully, we're only after Oscar alone. But Oscar has mastered a new art developed by Lord Melchior! You can count on it being a nasty one! You really do know a lot about this stuff. It's a little suspicious. You... you think so? Well, I was at the Abbey, so... Why don't you call him Lord Oscar? That's what's bothering you? It's because we're both so popular with the ladies. I consider him a rival. Shut up. I fucking hate you. <laughs> you know what? I have something I want to talk about. I want to start an official poll here in my Let's Play. You have two options here. This is going to be an official vote. Who has the worst voice of all time? And I think people can figure out who the two options are going to be. Could it be the the horrible sounding mascot, Bien Fu, or as one of the comments called it, called it, fucking retarded girl that sounds sick, Kamuana? Who has the worst voice? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> Please elaborate on your answers. 
on my desk. <laughs> Bienfu's pretty strong in just being... And Kamoana's equally strong in just being what the fuck. <laughs> I can't even describe her voice. By the way, if there's another scene with that girl crying one more time, I might kill myself. <laughs> Boop. Oh, please, come on. Someone say, hey, kids, stop going for the bug. Oh, it's a beetle. Yeah, uh, a Lionel Giant Thunderstag beetle, to be exact. Why do they always have such awkward names? <laughs> I think it's a cool name. <sighs> I've never been able to figure out why boys are so drawn to these things. Huh? What's the matter? Didn't you want to see it? Uh, hey, what's yeah. up? I'm a bug. Thanks. When he was little, Oscar was always running around the woods collecting bugs. He'd get so into it, it was never long before he'd trip and hurt himself. Did you grab bugs for him? Yes, I thought they were gross. But I was much taller than him, and I had the reach. Once, he gave me a whole pile of cicada shells as his way of thanking me. I just screamed. I'm sure he just wanted you to know how he felt. I can relate to that. Rather unusual for a Moloch like you to contemplate such things. Well, I try to. It's just really hard sometimes. It's hard for people too. Sometimes it feels insurmountable. And yet we can't give up. Sometimes you just have to say what you believe in your heart. Even if you're not good at saying it. What I believe. V, hurry up already! What were you two talking about? Nothing. Bugs. This is bugs, you can tell her. Set. Found a new stag beetle, did you? Yeah. Lady Teresa caught it for me. Ooh, those pincers are sharp. Eisen, take a look at this fine specimen of a stag. Oh, Wait, no. I believe that might be a two <laughs> yes. beetle. Listen, you two. If you're gonna get in another fight over this, I'll just say it's a new type of drone beetle. You wouldn't. You've really figured us out, huh? <laughs> Eleanor, you didn't make him say that just now, did you? I did not. I've made a pact with him as a vessel, but he isn't tethered to me. A Moloch, acting so human. I used to think that way. Malachim possessing free will just like humans? It was inconceivable. But meeting Lafayette and Aizen taught me the truth. They laugh in joyful times and cry in sad times. Their stomachs even growl too. Their stomachs growl? Now I take it as a matter of course that not only Malachim, but demons and Therians, too, have their own thoughts and feelings. I thought you hated demons. 
I certainly still do. But now I feel something besides just hate. Malakim with free will? Demons and Therians as well? You must have sensed that in Lafayette. Or you wouldn't have caught that beetle for him. When you saw his beaming face, it must have reminded you of when Oscar was a young boy. Am I correct? This conversation's over. I remembered I don't like you. You fuck. Teresa, be honest. Isn't there something wrong with the Abbey using a dangerous experimental art out in the field? Oscar's the one who decided to go through with it. Don't presume to know anything about who he is. Alright, I just had this moment where I'm like, wait, is the green glyph back there? No, it's right here. Can I... Can I get to it? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Sorry for whatever noise you want to call that. How do I... There's one over there? Can I... Can I hop to that? Maps give me too much information. I guess we'll just head on... No? No, we can just go around this gate. Alright, who needs that one? Whatever gets us to our goal, I'm perfectly, uh, perfectly fine. Using that art could be fatal. I can't allow Oscar to try it. Lady Teresa, is something the matter? It's nothing. I'm fine. But you looked like you were in pain. Oh. I was just thinking of it. You didn't have time to rest after recovering from the Corsair's scourge. You're awfully hard on yourself, you know. And even harder on others, am I? Th that's not what I meant. It doesn't matter. I'm well aware that I'm stone cold. But they say Steve Austin. Malik never knows his vessel's heart. I said nothing all those times you snuck off to the library, did I? You knew about that? Of course I knew. But I was just letting you roam free like a master might let her little pup. Number one didn't wander about like you did. What makes you different? I'm sorry. Well, boys will be boys, I guess. But I was planning on punishing you if that behavior continued. Punish me how? You don't want to know. It might wreck your good cheer. Lady Teresa! <laughs> Look at how open she's being. Do you really think she'll work with us? I don't think she's lying to us. But I don't think she's being entirely truthful either. Look, I know I probably don't have to say this, but... You don't. I won't let my guard down. If I see anything funny, she's dead. And since she has no Moloch, it'll be quick. She can't do anything. I'm thinking about this. She can't do anything. It's fine. Bitch ain't got shit. Here's the deal. We're gonna jump and hope that we are not going to be cock blocked. I see a gate that wants to cock block us though. Fuck these enemies. All I want. All I need is to progress. I'm so engaged in, to find out what this encounter with Oscar is going to do. You know, what is the dynamic going to be at this point? Are both characters going to be fine? Is Teresa and Oscar going to bow out of the main game? Uh, or are they going to both die within the same cutscene? Let's find out! <laughs> Let's, let's get there. We still have a we still have a hell of a lot more of this marsh to fucking contend with, though. Or do we? No, no, we still do. <laughs> we still do. I, I kind of got excited because of how short this part was. No, no, we still have a lot more. Like, where's the star? Okay, we got to exit through the top one. The music stopped. 
Oh, no, it looped. That's like that moment. Um, I, I played the... I didn't play too much of the Sega CD, because I never had it. I emulated it. Spoilers. And I played through uh, Lunar. Uh, classic JRPGs on that. And the music, like, plays... But eventually, you know, the the song Teresa, stops and it just has to loop. We go it's great. Right. Similar to what happened there. We'll tell Oscar that we'll release you if he gives up his weapons and Molokine. We'll tie him up, collect the Therian, and then head for the docks. Once we're aboard our ship and ready to sail, we'll release you. You'll be free to do whatever you want. Very well. But I want you to promise me one thing. Promise me you won't hurt Oscar. That depends on him. I'll defend myself if I have to. Um, Velvet... Please, do it for me, too. If you want to save Oscar, you need to make him listen. Put your own life on the line. You're his sister. Do whatever you have to to protect him. I will. Even if it means my death. Hmm. Anything over there? It seems like it's just a shortcut. Wait a minute. It is a shortcut. Fuck this game! I remember now. Back when the game first betrayed me. Is there anything over here at all? Like a... Man, I, I wish they mark where the mystical things are on the map. The the earth, wind, fire, and water, uh... Water, like, buttons? Sigils? Whatever they are. Make my life a hell of a lot easier. I'm going to hope... That it's... Nope. Uh, maybe this is why they want you to use the shortcut. Maybe there's one over here. Not gonna lie, not a fan of these play these areas just because eh, it's just a lot of walking and no action. You know, I mean, I could make some action by doing combat, but combat's easy in this game, and I could just mash mash the buttons and then they're done. Not much to talk about on that front. I kind of would like a nice linear romp through uh through this area, but you know, it's not terrible. They're giving me, giving me enough skits in between that uh, keep things uh, from becoming too boring. So this game seems to have a lot of uh, padding in it. Uh, I saw a couple of reviews saying that. Is that like horrible or like a game breaker or anything? Are they really gonna fucking make me do that? Are they really gonna... I activated that, so yeah, I guess they are. I guess I'm gonna have to walk all the way back here and make sure that switch is still active. Fuck me. So, um... A lot of reviews were like, you stay in similar areas and they force you to backtrack a lot, and the fast traveling in this is not nearly as, uh, solid as previous games. And I'm like, eh, it's fine. It's like a minor grievance. I mean, so long as, you know, the, sto the story, in my personal opinion, doesn't make any, like, mistakes or anything, this will probably be my favorite game of the series. As I am, I am thoroughly enjoying my time with it. Is there really no way to proceed here? Is, is there really, is there some puzzle I'm supposed to understand? Because I don't. There's a sparkle thing here, don't know what to do with that. I guess activate this and hope that we find one on the way, because I'm only a little annoyed, because I said I ain't doing any cuts. I refuse to cut. In defiance of all there is, I will not. I will not do that. There's got to be some way to do it. I have hope. Yeah, here we go. There's one right here. Ta-da! See, you always gotta have hope, friends. Hope that the game, while giving you some grief, will turn out okay. 
I'm setting that up for a joke for a gate to actually block me with wind, and it didn't. And I'm happy that the game didn't want to make, make an ass out of myself. I will say that traveling back here with the power of this feels pretty good. Uh, oh no. <laughs> but noticing, I now realize why they have two gates here. It's because they know you need to have one switch. Uh, you have to have one switch activated. So, we'll stay away from the wind. Focus on the fire. I, I think I've talked about it a little bit, and people have noticed that I've, uh, that I've changed outfits a lot in this game. Like, obviously. Like, I've changed which one I, I'm, like, using a lot. And, uh, some people may notice why I'm never really using Velvet's, uh, default outfit. I don't know if I've really talked about fully why, and the reason is, I think her default outfit's really bad. Like, from a design-wise, like, it's kind of okay, but it just... It, it, it's a moment where fan service feels awkward, you know? It just... I get it, she's kind of, like, wearing a male costume that she found, but... The fact that it's all utterly ripped up and stuff, I just, I'm not a fan of it. I don't think it looks good. I'm not, I'm not saying like, ah, it's, you know, it's over-sexualization, because I'm not, I'm not someone who's like, nah. I, I'm just more of like, eh, it looks bad. Looks bad, and there's much better costumes for her. I, I, it's mostly the ripped up shit. That's my the only reason I have issue with it. Like that part seems unnecessary. What sucks is we seems like there's no way to fucking proceed. How the fuck do I do this? Not. Don't bitch yet. There might be a button. But I am starting to kind of have. Well, I am starting to kind of get a little irritated in this area though, just because I wasn't able to proceed, and now I've basically gone in a circle, and I don't think I've made any progress. Keeping my eyes peeled, though. Trying to see if there's any, like, button I can press that actually affects these things. Doesn't seem to be. If I could jump between those, and I could, you know... <laughs> get to something, no problem. Alright, let's glide back up here again. Fuck off, tree. I don't care about you. Oh, there's one right here. Is this where... Uh, so I'm thinking that I fucked up and never noticed that sp switch specifically and actually went in a circle for no good reason. Uh, I think I did. Um, we're gonna have to double check by seeing if there's a gated portion here. Uh, and if there isn't, then yeah, KZ fucked up. Uh, and it did. Alright, good. Uh, I'm stupid. My bad. I mean, it's not as bad as that episode of Nier Automata that should have gone out by now. If, if not, there's there's a total moment where I am completely blind and don't see an exit. I'm using you as a hostage to keep Oscar from doing anything stupid. And don't you try anything funny either. Anytime Velvet tries too hard, I just kind of roll my eyes. Like, that moment is her trying too hard. Like, I get it. You're cool. Let's go. Surrounded by flowers, someone's gonna have to die. Oh, look, a nice lady. Why are Therians always come, chicks? Velvet. Sister, as plain as day. Now put down your sword and let go of my fairy. If you don't, I'll kill her. You coward. I'm sorry to do this, Oscar. I'm searching for the truth behind the Abbey's talk of so-called reason. And your idea of reason is to threaten my dear sister's life? 
I'm sorry, Oscar. I've become nothing but a burden. Teresa, no. It's not like that. All right. I'll put down my arms. Boom! <laughs> Teresa, get back! Hooray, she's smart. Forgive me, Oscar. This is the only way I can protect you. We've kept our end of the bargain. Take him and get out of here. You should. There's a theory behind you. It will reflect poorly upon him. Lady Teresa? Have you forgotten? You're just a powerless human. You're right. I am a weak, worthless human. But he has shown me the light. And it shines. My body is receptive to Inominat's power. And with it, I can protect everything I care about. Sure, why not? Let's go. She turned into Ethereum? No, she fused with it. Close enough. I'll kill you all. Anything to protect Oscar. Eh? At least she's sister of the year, right? Alright, I, I need a third soul badly. I don't want to switch just yet. Eh, this game's made to switch. I should do it. Either shit or get up the pot. We really should shoot a beam at this young lady. Hey, who's a good character I can I can handle? Uh, probably her. And then uh, yeah, there we go. That works. Keep Velvet in the party because that's gonna help quite a bit. Keep going in. I gotta say, her design's pretty good. Frankly, I did not expect this to happen, though. Was not expecting her to, like, you know, fuse with a Therian, or even be a boss fight here, but... You know what? Sure. Why not? Ah, oh, jeez! Holy crap! At least she got that in before we ended this fight. I can't lose. Not here. L Lady Teresa. Stand down, or I'll devour you piece by piece. Hey sis, what's up? How it's you okay, doing? Sister. You've done enough. No, don't look at me. I'm so hideous. When I was growing up, the only one my mother and father ever paid any attention to was my older brother, the heir. But you, Teresa. You noticed me when they didn't. You looked after me, supported me, smiled for me. I could never thank you enough, my sister. Now, 
Keep watching over me, Teresa. As long as you're looking after me, I can vanquish even the Lord of Demons. Take a good look. This is armatization. Oh, shit. Failed Oscar. Neat. Well, I guess this is the first time we've seen armatization, which is pretty much the whole thing that happens in Zysteria. His design looks neat. I don't like this anymore because he's... He's clearly a little bit stronger than his sister. Also, he's stunning the fuck out of me. There, I'll switch to Aizen, I guess. He should be able to get some downs. Alright, I need to get out of range of that move specifically. Doing no good for anybody. Uh-oh! Good lord! Everyone's popping off today. Anyone want to relax? Maybe calm down a little bit? Everyone, you know, just... I don't know, just be a little nicer, you know? Have 15 health. Switch you out, because you're, you're low. He's more than halfway down, we can do this. I have a lot of these uh, R2s that I can spam. Oh, so, so her, her R2 is nice where she launches someone and then does an aerial attack right as the follow-up if you break soul twice in a row. Ah, gotta finish him off. Sorry, you both lost. My sister. He's losing control of the Mala. Oh, damn it. It's turning into a dragon. Velvet, quick. Devour that thing. Stop. He's still. What happened? What'd you do? You. Oh, fuck. No, I. He was a good kid. He gave me this pair of earrings for my birthday. They're family heirlooms that were supposed to go to his fiance, but he didn't know that at the time. I told him he should give them to the woman he cares most about in the world. And you know what he did? He smiled at me and said I was that woman. So sweet, so innocent, and you took him away! You killed him! My Oscar! How could you? How could you? How could you?
so hurt. I'll get you all fixed up. Don't cry, Oscar. You're strong. You're so strong. Teresa, Oscar. <sighs> and we didn't even get the Therian we came for. He... Oscar came at him first. I had to. It was for Luffy. For my little... 